everyone today i'm going to show you how to make your own t-shirt design using ideogram the example that i'm using today is for daryl dixon he's one of my favorite characters from the walking dead and recently he just had his spinoff so i wanted to make my own merch because when i looked at the amc website it was kind of lacking so i wanted to see what i could come up with so let's go ahead and get started so we are on the ideogram website and these are just a few examples of what i made the prompt that i use says daryl dixon walking dead headshot cyberpunk neon and let me go ahead and show you a few samples. Now, as I show you these examples, you'll notice that the face is a little messed up. And by the way, I love this one because this is one of the quotes. I think it was episode. No, I think this quote is supposed to be from episode one, I believe. Um, so ideogram can write text, but this one was a bit messed up. The quote was, I went out looking for something and all I found was trouble. But Ideogram did not make the text perfect. So I would either have to continue trying to remix this image or just edit the text out and then just keep the motorcycle, you know, just kind of like an ode to old school Daryl and then just redo the text myself. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones. Okay, this one's probably one of the closest ones that I made. And don't worry, even though the face looks nothing like them in a lot of these examples, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to be able to try at least to make these images look closer to what I desire. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now we are on my Discord and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix some of the faces. And the way that we're going to fix a face is by using this bot right here, the Insight Face Swap bot. And this bot allows me to input a new image and it's going to layer on top of the other image that I'm using. So let's go ahead and try that right now. When I click on this form, it's going to give me this option right here that says save identity feature by name and image. And this is what we're going to select from the insight face swap bot. So the first thing that we have to do is just we're going to add our own image. I've already saved the image that I want, but you can also just drag an image like if you find one online. And this is the image that I found online that I'm going to use and I'm going to name it Daryl. From that, I'm just going to click enter. You can see here it says ID name Daryl created. Okay, step two, we're going to click forward slash again. Next, we're going to go to swap ID. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to drag it. And I'm going to drag the image from ideogram and I'm going to add it here. So you can see the images here and then I'm going to put the name Daryl. Then I'm going to click enter. Now we have an image that looks much closer to Daryl. So let's go ahead and compare it. So this was the original image from ideogram. And this is the image that I used from inside face swap. So now it looks a bit closer to Daryl has more of his features. Let's go ahead and try it out with a few other images. I think this one might be a bit tricky, but I still want to try it. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, once again, all we did is drag the image. We, we put the name, the ID name Daryl and click enter. Yeah, so nothing much happened. I see very slight, a very slight improvement on the eyes. So at least now we know that sometimes when the image, the face of the image is so small, it might be difficult for Insight Face Swap to actually apply it to the right area. So we actually may need the full size face in order to try to improve the image. And I tried it again because the face was slightly bigger, but no, it did not fix it in any way. I mean, the eyes, we do kind of have an improvement on Daryl's eyes, but not a lot. So now this one looks much better. Let's go ahead and compare it. So this is the image from ideogram. And then this is the image after we use insight face swap. So it does look more like Daryl, especially in the eyes. And if I do want to create more of the vector look like it has on this area, I can probably fix that in Illustrator. But I just wanted to show you guys that you can definitely 
create an image that's closer to the character that you desire. And then after I get closer to the look that I want, I can go ahead and create a vector image and then add more of the detail back. This is the next example. I think it's starting to look much better. We're starting to get Daryl's eyes and I can just do kind of micro editing, to try to get the look exactly how I want it. I love how they're starting to turn out. So yeah, definitely looks much better. This was the one from Ideogram and this is the one from Insight Face Swap. So we see it's really in the eyes. And like I said earlier, if I want more of a vector look, I'll just fix that in Illustrator. This is Ideogram and then this is Insight Face Swap. I don't really like this one too much because it has way too much realism because I think the face is a bit too squished. So I would probably not go with this one. This is why you kind of have to play around with it until you get the look that you desire. So this is my favorite image and I like it because it's pretty much the headshot and it's going to be easy for me to isolate it. And then now I can use it on different products. I can add more text, make it look exactly the way I want. And now you can make your own creations. So if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.